Good evening. Welcome to the Rainbow Ballroom. I'm Tom Dendy, pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church, located in the heart of the Carolina Forest community in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And we have offered these Tuesday evening virtual Vespers since way back in the start of the pandemic two years ago, over two years ago. It was a way and is a way to have some togetherness in between Sundays to share some scripture and prayer and some songs. Uh, hello, Patty Rodriguez, come in the house. Hello, Kathy O'Halloran, hello, Jeffrey. Welcome, welcome to the Rainbow Ballroom. Tonight, our theme, being as it's an election night, is Lord help and heal our nation. We know around these times that it often brings out the worst in us in our relating to one another. And we just want to say, Lord, help us learn to relate. Hello, Roger Worthington, Carol Mitchell. Welcome back. Good evening. Glad you're here. So, Lord, on this eighth day of November in the year 2022, as we're glad to be Americans and celebrating an election day, midterm elections, and the opportunity and freedom that we have here in America. Uh, we want you to heal our nation, Lord. Mend that which is broken. So as we're gathering, I want to share a song as done by Tennessee Ernie Ford many years ago. This is my country. This is my country, land that I love. This is my country, grandest on earth. I pledge thee my allegiance, America, the bold, cause this is my country to have and to hold. This is my country, land of my choice. This is my country, hear my proud voice. I pledge thee my allegiance, America, the bold. For this is my country to have and to hold. This is my country, and your country too. As a shared verse from Scripture tonight, 2 Chronicles seven fourteen says, If my people, who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. The word of the Lord. Bow with me for a prayer. Loving God, we acknowledge that you are our God and there is no other. We acknowledge your sovereign control over all things. We confess that we are experiencing at times fear and anxiety, but you are greater than those things that come against us. We love you and we believe that what you say is true and that we can depend on it. We repent of not loving you and not loving others better. We seek your forgiveness, O oh God, and your wise counsel, not just for now, but for always. We pray for the elections today, and we ask for your peace and safety for all and your guidance. We declare that you are our 
peace. We seek your will and not our own, knowing that all things work together for our good and your glory, because we are called and loved by you. We declare that the government rests on your shoulders, and we know that you, as our sovereign God and loving Father, know all things, and we put our trust in you alone. We pray that you will turn the hearts of your people back to you, and we pray your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our King, and our Redeemer, through your Holy Spirit. Amen. And again, I share the scripture for tonight, Second Chronicles 7.14. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Hello, Linda Henderson, Glenn Kelly, welcome. Come in the house. Jenny Taylor, good to have you. We have so much to be grateful for here in America, so many abundant blessings and freedoms and access to resources and free expression of our religion and life, liberty and pursuit of happiness. But we have to confess our need to address and end some of the isms in our world. Racism, sexism, all the other isms that divide us and conflict us as a people. And we have to work together to assure equal and fair access to liberty and justice for all people. Tonight we celebrate our rights to vote and to hold free elections. That's not true around the world, but it's true here and we're grateful for it. This week and uh, this weekend, we're gonna celebrate men and women of our great nation who have answered the call to serve as public servants and in the military and as elected public leaders, civil servants in local, state, and federal government. As the hymn writer penned the words long ago, O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Lord, we're counting on you, and we know you're counting on us. So help us, Lord. I'm asking in my prayers, Lord, that you'll humble us and help us to confess our sins and turn from our wicked ways, that we might be, first of all, restored to a right relationship with you, and then to right relationships with our neighbors. Help us acknowledge that none of us is truly free until all of us are free. Help us to break down walls that divide us and instead learn to build bridges that can unite us and give us all the access to the very best of everything that our great nation has to offer. Lord, help us learn to share and help us learn to care at a deeper level, one for another. God, help us, and God, may you be glorified. Sing with me. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, beautiful for pilgrims' feet 
who stir up impassioned stress, a thoroughfare for freedom be across the wilderness. America, America, God in thine every flaw, confirm thy soul in self-control, thy liberty in law. Oh, beautiful for heroes prove in liberating strife, who more than self their country love, and mercy more than life. America, America, may God thy gold refine, till all success be nobleness, and every gain divine. Oh, beautiful for patriot dream that sees beyond the years thine alabaster city's gleam undimmed by human tears. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. America the Beautiful. Hear our scripture once again. Second Chronicles seven fourteen says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Well, let's pray again on this election night. Loving God, we know that you have heard our prayers the cries of our hearts. You hear everything. We ask and we know that you answer. You love peace and decency and order. We're asking for exactly that tonight and in the days ahead. We ask for your special hedge of protection over our nation and all its people this night. And for this important outcome, whatever they may be, your word tells us your plan is not to harm us, but to give us a hope and a future. We believe you and your word, and we thank you for your faithfulness and your everlasting love. We know that you are Lord of all, and we pray all these things in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ. Amen. This next song by Matthew Hooper, Richie Fike, and Travis Ryan is called We Believe. In this time of desperation all we know is doubt and fear There is only one foundation We believe And in this broken generation 
salvation When all is dark you help us see There is only one salvation We believe We believe We believe in God the Father we believe in Christ the Son, we believe in the Holy Spirit, and He's given us new life. We believe in the crucifixion, we believe that He conquered death, we believe in the resurrection, and He's coming back again. We believe. Let our faith be more than anthems Greater than the songs we sing And our weakness and temptation We believe We believe in God the Father we believe in Jesus Christ We believe in the Holy Spirit And He's given us new life We believe in the crucifixion We believe that He conquered death We believe in the resurrection And He's coming back again Let the lost be found and the dead be raised in the here and now let a love invade Let the church live loud and our God will save We believe, we believe And the gates of hell will not prevail For the power of God has torn the veil Now we know your love will never fail We believe, we believe We believe in God the Father we believe in Jesus Christ We believe in the Holy Spirit And He's given us new life We believe in the crucifixion We believe that He conquered death We believe in the resurrection And He's coming back He's coming back again Coming back again We believe Yes We believe Well, a few thoughts to meditate on tonight Hey, Betty Bryson, come on in the house Good to see you in the crowd tonight. Something to ponder. Be careful, fellow believers. With the best of intentions, at times we lose our way. For the world we live in is full of sin and temptation. Be wise, fellow believers. There's always more to learn about faith. So allow God's Spirit to teach you and me wisdom. Be diligent, fellow believers. Don't be casual in reading God's word. Take it seriously. Make it a habit. For Satan delights in ignorance of the truth. So study. Study that you may better understand who God is and who God is calling us to be. Be positive, fellow believers. Our God has a plan for us and for the nation and for the world's salvation, and God will accomplish it against all odds. Be content, fellow believers, for everything is possible through Christ our Savior. God promises the victory has been won and our future has been secured, and God calls us to live faithfully and to lean in 
to love and to serve others as Christ has loved and served us. This next one by Lee Greenwood. God bless the USA. If tomorrow all the things were gone I'd worked for all my life And I had to start again With just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the folks who died Who gave that right to me And I'd gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota To the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas from sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston From New York to L.A. Where there's pride in every American heart And it's time to stand and say That I'm proud to be an American Well, at least I know I'm free and I won't forget the folks who died to give that right for me. And I'd gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. One more time. And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the folks who died Who gave that right to me And I'd gladly stand up next to you and Defend her still today For there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless we're very very fortunate to be where we are folks don't take that for granted freedom isn't free it comes at a price and the price has been paid for us to enjoy the freedom we're enjoying hello deborah kyle welcome few reminders, friends, Tuesday evening Vespers, we hope to continue next week, 7.30 on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday evening, bell choirs at 5.45 starting this Wednesday. Chancel choir meeting is at 6.30 p.m. and we're looking for seasonal singers that would help us prepare for and sing the Christmas cantata. Maybe you're a seasonal singer that doesn't want to make a long-term commitment but would be willing to sing with us for the next six or seven weeks. We'd love to have you. That's Wednesdays at 6.30. Sunday morning worship, we're going to be honoring our veterans, and that's at 11 a.m. both in person and through Facebook live stream. Uh, watch for your weekly celebration updates. They come out twice by email on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The Tuesday edition is newsy and updates of activities in the life of our church, and Thursday focuses primarily on our upcoming order of worship for Sunday. Stay safe as the COVID endemic drags on into flu season. Get a flu shot. Get your COVID booster. If you haven't had shingles shots, 
They say it's worth having them to avoid the shingles. Wear a mask if you're out there and around sick folks. That's for your protection. Stay in if you've got fever and flu-like symptoms. That's for all our protection. In the meantime, do the best you can and be the best you can day by day for the foreseeable future, my friends. And I close and leave you with this charge and benediction that is accredited to St. Francis. And he says, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. That's a good word to go with and a good word to live by. Well, I want to leave you with one more song that spreads our concept of God's grace and goodness to the nations all around the world, knowing that it's not just us that God's looking after, but all God's children everywhere in every nation. And I do want to thank you for sharing Vespers again with me tonight. And uh, this final song is called This Is My Song. This is my song, O God of all the nations. A song of peace for lands afar and mine. This is my home, the country where my heart is. Here are my hopes, my dreams, my holy shrine. But other hearts in other lands are beating with hopes and dreams as true and high as mine. My country's skies are bluer than the ocean. And sunlight beams on clover, leaf, and pine. But other lands have sunlight too, and clover, and skies are everywhere as blue as mine. So hear my song. O oh God of all the nations, a song of peace for their land and mine. This is my prayer, O oh Lord of all earth's kingdoms. Thy kingdom come on earth thy will be done let christ be lifted up till all shall serve him and hearts united learn to live as one so hear my prayer O God of all the nations, myself I give thee, let thy will be done. 
Hello, Fran Spangler and Tom McAllister. Thanks for joining us here in the Rainbow Ballroom as we're closing out another edition of Tuesday Evening Virtual Vespers. And our theme for tonight has been Lord Help and Heal Our Nation. On this election day, as we're celebrating our freedoms to vote and the right of free elections, free and fair elections, May God guide us through this process and in the days to come that we may be civil in settling into the outcomes and kind and generous in working together. Thanks again for being a part of this and I welcome you to join us on Sunday mornings. Our worship time is at 11 a.m. both in person and through Facebook live stream. If you're in the Myrtle Beach area, we are located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard. Uh, we're next door to the Recreation Center and Library in the heart of Carolina Forest community. And that's 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We'd love to see you, so please come be with us the next time you're down enjoying the beach. It's a beautiful time of year to come to Myrtle Beach. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. Thanks, friends, for being here tonight, and God bless and keep you safe until we meet again.